All right, so now it is time to start adding sources to scenes in OBS. Now sources can be anything. It can be webcams, it can be images or videos, captures of games or browsers or software. Um, pretty much anything you can think of, there is a source type for that, so you can add those to your scenes. So let's start with an image source. First, make sure you're in the scene you want. Then in the sources side, click the plus and go to image. You can give it a name, a label. I'm gonna call it template and click okay. And now you have to target the image that you want on your system. I'm gonna choose a template for a broadcast that we are currently doing and click okay. And one thing I like to do is once that source is placed, click the lock. That makes it so that you can click and drag and it won't move your source in that scene. If you wanna add a webcam, then you would add a video source by clicking the plus, video capture device. You can also label it, I'll call this one Sony Cam, and click OK. And then in the dropdown, you'll find your webcam, and click OK. And now I'll very quickly show you how to resize your webcam. You simply hover over a corner point and click and drag. If you wanna now move it, click anywhere inside and drag, and now, to complete the relationship between my template and my webcam, we want to reorder the sources in the source list so that we have a top and bottom relationship between those two. My template wants to go in front of my webcam, so I will click and drag the template up and let go. And now you'll see my webcam is dropped underneath the template within the cutout container so that it looks clean and I like how everything looks, so I'll make sure that I lock my webcam. Now for this next step, I'm gonna create a new scene, and you can do that by going to the Scenes dock and clicking the plus. You can give the scene a name. I'm gonna name it after the game that I'm going to capture in the scene, and that game is called Dwarf Romantic. And with the game running, we can choose a game capture by going to the Sources list, clicking the plus, and game capture. You can give it a name or not. Click OK. And now, if the game is running in full screen, you can use Capture Any Full Screen Application and it might find it. If not, you can choose Capture Specific Window and then target the window that you want to capture. I'm gonna find the program of the game and click OK. Now it might appear or you may have to click into the program itself for it to then show up in OBS. And just like before, if you wanna add a webcam to this scene, then simply go to your sources list, add a video capture device. And if you've already added that device in OBS previously, you can click add existing, click the camera and okay. And then we'll grab a corner point like before to resize. And once you're happy with the way that your scene is arranged, I like to lock all the sources. Next, I'll create a new scene and add a media source, like a video. In the scenes doc, click the plus. I'm gonna call this St. Louis B-roll and click OK. In the sources list, click the plus and media source and target the file. I'm also going to uncheck restart playback when source becomes available because I want to preview the video on the preview side and click OK and there's my video. And if you like the positioning, go ahead and lock it. And if I push this video to the live side, it's going to start wherever it is currently in the file. If you want it to restart from the beginning of the video when you make it live, then just double click the source to get back into the properties and check the restart playback and click OK. And now when I transition the video to play live, it will start at the beginning of the file. Now, what if I wanted to capture a specific window that's open on my computer? And this can be software or it can be, let's say, an internet browser. Well, then we're gonna use a window capture source. So I'll make a new scene to demonstrate that. I'll click the plus in the sources list and go to window capture and then click OK. And now I have to choose the window that I want to capture. For this example, I'm gonna capture chess.com and click OK. And now I can stream maybe myself playing chess. Now let's go back to this first scene one more time so I can show you how to add 
text. We'll go to our source list and choose text. And let's call this name tag because that's what I'm gonna use this for. I'll go ahead and put my name. You can select a font. I like to start with a large size so that when I make it smaller, it stays sharp. If you make it small and then make it larger, then it could lose quality. I'll click OK and OK. And now I want to place it here in my scene on this name tag bar. So I'll bring it over by clicking and dragging, and I'll make it smaller by grabbing a corner point and dragging, and then clicking inside again to move it into position. If you want to hide this bounding box, just click anywhere. Now you may notice in the sources list that one available type is audio input capture. And you could potentially use this to capture an audio device like a microphone, but I don't actually suggest that you use that in a source within a scene. And we'll get into audio in a future video where I'll show you what I believe is a better method. And there you go. That's how you add some of the most common sources to scenes. In the next video, we'll go into more detail about how to crop and resize sources in a scene to get them looking exactly how you would like them.